The countryside is important for us all. It's where we grow our food and experience the beauty of nature. It's both a workplace and a home for many people. As the countryside and its social fabric changes, we need to make sure that any development that takes place is good for rural communities and the environment. But our green fields are too often seen as a blank canvas waiting to be built on. With the interests of local communities, local character and the environment ignored. It doesn't have to be this way. The planning system should enable us to shape how our land develops and make sure it's used in everyone's best interests while protecting the green spaces we cherish. It should balance competing demands for the use of land, encourage the good development that helps communities thrive while protecting the environment and restrict the bad development that doesn't. But the current system is failing and our planning rules are full of pitfalls and loopholes that undermine these important goals. National policy too often encourages developers to build for profit rather than what people need. The government's target-driven approach to house building means councils don't always have the ability to resist development they know will cause harm. When bad development decisions are forced on local communities, it can have devastating consequences from reductions in affordable housing and community infrastructure to lost green spaces and missed opportunities to redevelop derelict land. The government should tighten up its policies to make sure community and environmental interest come first. Planning empowers local people to create a vision for where they live and to work with their council to create a plan for housing, services and infrastructure while protecting our green space but councils and communities need to know that the government will back them to only approve development that fulfills this plan. Government policy must change to make this a reality. A better planning system would deliver the best development possible to meet the needs of people, places and the environment. We want a system that is accessible, accountable to local people and promotes sustainable use of our land. Then we'll have thriving places that work for all of us and a countryside to enjoy.